Um, our next presenter is Tony Lewis, Chief Technology Officer at BrainShip. Um, Tony's got a very interesting combination of both extensive academic and industry background that maybe he'll tell you a little bit about during the presentation. If not, maybe we can talk about more in Q&A. And the title of his talk is State Space Models, SSMs, for Ultra Low Power Edge AI. Tony, come on up. All right. Thank you, Brian. Yep. All right, here we go. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about state space models versus transformers. Uh, the general context is that we've been working on large language models at the edge, but uh, the same sort of technology, state space uh, versus transformers, can be applied to a wide variety of mod modalities, including vision. Um, Brainship, a little bit about us. Um, so we're founded upon the idea that uh, we can look at biological systems, at the human brain, as inspiration as to how we can build computational devices which can be very low power. So with only 24 watts, you can get an Einstein, you can get an Isaac Newton, you can get a Michael Jordan. So what is it about the brain and the way computation is done in the brain that allows us to achieve such low power? And so the idea of brain chip is that we want to take some of these ideas and then use them to solve practical problems in the real world. We're uh, founded uh, about a little over 10 years ago. We're a publicly traded uh, company in Australia. Um, we have uh, offices in Australia, in um, California, uh, in France, and in India as well. And the niche that we try to occupy is, you know, low power computation under, say, half a watt. And most of what we've been doing up until this point is vision-based uh, computation. And so this is a new foray for us into the world of large language models and to uh, transformers and state space models in general. So what is the goal of this presentation? Um, I'm going to try to do an analysis that I hope is clear about the differences, the fundamental differences between state space models and transformers as they apply to problems at the edge. And we're going to look at things like energy and uh, cost-saving measures, which are only available to SSMs. And uh, we're going to uh, learn about how we can do efficient offline processing to ha uh, help accelerate time to first token or, or the latency in these devices. And we're also going to show how we can make use of read-only memory like flash, which is going to be very low power and it's going to be very cheap. And then we'll have some conclusions at the end.